You've come to the right place. Some kind of Goodbye. I hope you enjoy it. I love what you've done with yourself. You well, look of great. Course we're expensive. What beautiful the wealth of this clothes. town has gone through the roof. Only real royalty would Let wear something like that. Let me buy your like unwanted that. items. Fair price paid. Now that's what a hero should look like. Fancy a refreshing drink? You are look. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Woo! <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 Stay in one place too long, do you? Ah, <laughs> ah yes, she is. We were just talking about you. Indeed, we have made a toast to your stupendous feat in ridding Miss Peak of Saker and his men. They have been a source of great distress for some time. Nobody will be more pleased than Sabine. His dwellers might find some peace now. Of course, nobody has suffered more than they. I've been telling Samuel here about the terrible situation they're in. He thinks he may be able to help. Uh, yes, well, uh, perhaps. I, I mean, of course. The thing is, as I was just explaining to Sir Walter... Brightwall has no overabundance of resources itself. The king's levies are rather steep, and we face shortages more often than is comfortable. But? But were you to improve things around Brightwall, the people would be most grateful. And when people are grateful, they're also charitable. I'm sure they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it, the way I see it. You will need all the followers you can get if you're going to lead a successful rebellion. What better time to start? I heartily agree with Sir Walter. Pardon me for overhearing. As it happens, I've learned of a promising method for amassing followers. If you'll return to the sanctuary at your earliest convenience, I can show you what I mean. An excellent way to gain followers is by helping villagers in need. Take a closer look at Brightwall and I will explain more. You can now see the villagers in need. You can also see how many followers you must amass to impress Samuel and the people of Brightwall. Select a villager to help. By doing so, you will gain the respect and loyalty of others in the region. By completing quests for those in need, you will prove your abilities and demonstrate your potential as a leader. ...that this fair city demands we must feed their souls, not starve their minds. Oh, foul and wretch yourself. Music, laughter, life, that's what they need. You, dear lady, you who live in such a tumultuous epoch, do you not thirst for the drama and emotion of a properly structured tragic play? Of course you don't. You want to escape your troubles. You want to be made merry. You want to be amused. It is no good. We shall never agree. Ah, if only we could get our hands on Morley's lost play. It would solve all our problems. Yes, it is said to bring together the opposites of tragedy and comedy in an exquisite marriage of forms. But... Perhaps you can find it. Yes, we beg you, the theater, the muses, the very heart and soul of this town will thank you.
Splendid, splendid. You should know we did commission an elderly detective to search the library for clues as to the play's whereabouts, but he never returned. Turn back now, mortal one. Stay away from this accursed Place. only death and insanity await you. Don't pick it up. Really, I'm serious. You lot just can't leave well enough alone, can you? Bloody literary tourists, bane of my afterlife. You're not getting my lost plate, you hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. It would seem, my dear madam, you have been apprehended by the ghost of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. And yet, here I am, ready to live out the rest of my days, trapped in a book. As far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays, the near tragedy of Oliver and Ethel. I believe if we are to escape, we must act out the scene. But performing is not one of my talents. If I am correct, Putting on this costume should set things in motion. Oh, Ethel, my love, my life, my son, if thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth living? Ah, uh, yes, a classic moment in the play. You are Ethel, the beautiful young daughter of a dung merchant. Show Oliver that you love him, and we may be able to leave this scene. My heart is yours, my love. Let the heavens and the seas, the toads and the eels sing the song in my heart, for she doth love me, and all is well. We shall meet again in the morrow, my little ferret, and elope into the sunset to live out our days in wondrous joy. A magnificent rendition. Truly, I applaud you. Hmm. I see you are gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but can you really comprehend the depths of my work? That we shall see. Ah, yes. This is undoubtedly a scene from one of Morley's earlier, funnier plays, Bloodbath at the Royal Court. And this must be your costume. The role of the fool is one filled with tragic depth. It will require a masterful performance.
What fresh insolence is this? Out of my throne, you impertinent buffoon! Stand before you a king, and do your jester's duty. Tis a troublesome time for this court, and my crown grows heavy. So make me laugh, or I shall have your head. You look so cute in that crown. Why, Jester, I had no idea you felt that way about me. Or is this another one of your japes? Ah! Oh! <laughs> So it's true! You do love me! You have no idea how difficult it's been watching you strut about in those magnificent feathers, how much I've wanted you! Then it is settled. Tomorrow we shall wed, and let anyone who frowns upon our union have his head cut off! Well, it's certainly a radical interpretation of the text, but effective nonetheless. Mm, you handle my royal dramas as well as you handle my romances. But will your versatility extend to the more subtle domains of theatre, I wonder? Oh dear. Unless I'm mistaken, this is a scene from Morley's notoriously violent historical epic, Titus the Mutilator, Part 2. Which would mean this is the gladiatorial arena from Act 5 where Titus is finally slaughtered by savage warriors seeking revenge. A favorite scene of mine as a child, I must admit. And here is Titus's famous costume. I had some pajamas that looked just like it. Put it on and you will take on the greatest role of your life. Titus, thy pox-membered body shall pay for thy monstrous villainy. My son lies dead because of you. Now shall revenge be mine, cold as your corpse and all the more flavorsome for it. Do try to make your demise convincing. Do you ever wonder what your spleen looks like? Let's find out. Ooh, that shot looks nasty! I gave the hellhound a bloody nose! More of my kin lie slain, and yet you live! You have breathed your last sulfur-scented breath, Titus! Are we really going to let... All my men, dead. My vengeance, denied. My world, undone. I cannot stand to live one second more. A tremendous performance. That's just the ending I wanted to see when I was a young boy attending the theatre every weekend. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what scene could possibly follow such a masterful rendition of my work? And the way you improvised some of those roles, you brought new life to my words. I stand in awe. You have earned the prize no mortal has ever been honoured with before. My missing play. I entrust it to you, for I know that you will do it justice. I call it the Ham Sandwich. 
A metaphorical title, of course. Ah, you have retrieved our aged investigator. Happy day! Have you perchance found... This is no time for perchances, Lambert. The play, do you have it? We're saved, Lambert! Oh, the joy in my bosom knows no bounds! Thank you a million times! Thank you! <laughs> His head bosom! It's already working! Comedy and tragedy will at last join hands! Hark! Bear witness to the tragic futility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see paradise and yet to be barred. That reminds me of a great joke. A guard, a monk and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet what purpose doth heartache serve when the infinite dark blanket that is death fall softly upon our still beating corpse. That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly, replies the bartender. I've never seen a stiff drink. And so endeth our happy sad play, which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say... Great big giant bosoms! What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It didn't even make sense. Worst play ever. Oh, I like the way you... I sell the best items in all Brightwall. If you find we're out of stock on anything, try again a few days later. You handle that dough like an artist. Mastery, right there. Great pie. I might keep that one for myself. Best products in Brightwell. I might keep that one for myself. We will not be undersold. That is our new buy to the business. Is booming. I hope hey, that was my favourite rolling pin. I you need more followers.
No, we're not the cheapest, but that's because we carry the best. You think Sabine's got a plan there. to get us out we of can't this mess? Go out to hunt. If I ever get hold of that Logan, I'll wring his neck. I feel so weak. If I ever get hold of that Logan, no. I'll wring his neck. Wow. It's real gold, too. Thank you. I go up to the castle. It's all Logan's fault. There are new items available in the Sanctuary Shop. Please, you've got to help me. I'm so worried. It's my daughter, you see. I can't find her. The little scamp is always going off on her own. Having adventures and whatnot. Always comes back after a while, though, but this time she's been missing for hours and hours. I'm frantic with worry. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Please bring her back safe and sound as soon as you can. Welcome to the... Help me! Help! There's so many of them, and they're so scary! Please take me back to Mummy! Are you here to take me home?
I shouldn't talk to strangers. Oh, I just did. We made it out of the cave. Brilliant. with my little eye. Something beginning with... S. More nasty things! Don't let them eat me! adventures too. Yesterday I saved a town from a big monster and they said I could be their princess. My darling, my little darling, what a relief! I was beside myself! I can't thank you enough. I'm forever in your debt. Well done. You have gathered quite an impressive following in Brightwall. This should be more than enough to convince this little hamlet to send aid to the dwellers. I believe Samuel awaits you at the town gates to express that very sentiment. Esteemed citizens of Brightwall, today we demonstrate the generous nature of our fair town. For too long have our mountain neighbors suffered in silence, and now we extend a helping hand. But this effort would not have been possible without the courage and determination of one woman, the daughter of the old hero king. From this day, we shall know you as the hero of Brightwall. Before you leave, we ask of you one favor. As we pledge ourselves to you, so we hope you will pledge to return Brightwall to its former glory and reopen the academy which your father founded. 
I will. Very, very good, very good. I expected nothing less from you. These volunteers shall carry the supplies to the dweller camp. They may have them with our blessing. I hope you will return one day. Not just as our hero, but as our queen. Give hard cash for your unwanted good. Shop in Brightwall. You'd be mad to go anywhere no else. No finer goods in all of Brightwall. I've got the best stuff you ever seen. At the best prices, too. Always happy to buy your unwanted items. That's a fine item. Thank you for your custom. How's the landlording business, then? Upon that wall, you'll find the co You have done a wonderful thing. For oh, this is terrible. Somehow, the gate got open, and all of my chickens have escaped. I don't know. Right, you'll need this. Contrary. You have several new suits. Those will make dressing easy. You're dressed as a chicken. Free to what most people think. Chickens are very, very crafty. They won't fall for any of that. Come here, chicky chicky. I've got some lovely treats for you. Oh no. Too smart. You have to defeat them psychologically. Now, they won't remain one concentrated force. They'll have redeployed into groups of three or so to maximize their tactical advantage. When you find one of these squads, flap your wings and such, and they should follow you back here. But don't let them try to negotiate with you. You do not want those little buggers inside your head, believe me. Well done. Their reign of terror is over before it began. All right, see if you can find some more. Use the chicken suit to get them to follow you. It's a bit crazy. Just... You might want to rethink the act. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and. Yeah. Fly high. 
Oh! Oh! My white into a lake or something. That last play was bad enough to burn down a library. How can I help you then? All right, cheers. That top makes you look like a right thanks for the cash. Always a pleasure. Steel weapons are a thing of the past. The modern hero uses guns. Prices ain't cheap, but that's the market for ya. You haven't got an eye for fashion, have you? Give your nose a friend. Get a moustache. That's lovely. Just keep doing what you're doing. And no matter what, don't show them any fear. My dear Bernard, one of these days the chicken god is going to come down from a celestial coop in the sky and peck out your eyes. So there! Yours sincerely, Arthur. When you find some of the little swords, don't let on you're there to capture them. That's all of them. At last, the town can rest easy. Oh, Bernard, you've got to lock them up again. This isn't right. They deserve to be free. You're always on about the chickens and their freedom. You know what I think? I think it was you let them out. You're right. I admit it. I couldn't live with myself any longer being complicit in this chicken oppression. But they might have destroyed the entire town. Possibly the world. They might have gone off to live peacefully on their own. They might have created great works of art or literature. We don't know. And we have no right to take away their fundamental liberties based on our own prejudices. Well, now it's clear taking away their liberties isn't enough. I have to assume you'll try to facilitate another escape. And that means the only choice is to kill them all. Oh, no, Bernard! No, don't! All right. All right. We'll let them live. But only if you swear never to let them out again. All right. All right. We'll work this out. I hope I haven't made a terrible mistake. But if I killed them, I would just make them martyrs. Oh, I just don't know about this. It's what's best, Bernard.
just don't know about this. It's what's best, Bernard. Ah, hello. I trust you are finding everything all right? Are you comfortable? I'm not entirely certain that the mannequin is. You know, what would go perfectly with those gloves is a riding crop or a... Hmm... Generals use them to point to maps. A uh, swagger stick! That's it. Swagger stick! Swagger stick! Such a deliciously staccato... Mm -hmm. Nice glove! It's the right thing to do. I wish I could believe that. I really do. Now we just have to figure out a compromise. Ah, a hero! I'm writing a book about a hero, two actually, who go on a grand adventure and save the world, and along the way learn something about life and love. And that's the tricky bit. The action is thrilling, the banter is punchy, but any scene where they express their feelings for one another falls a bit flat. I've nothing to draw inspiration from. I've asked passing villagers to express themselves to each other one-on-one. -on -one. Most give me a weird look and hurry away. And the ones who indulge me, frankly, take it further than I'd like. None of it helps. I don't want to see the crude, awkward fumblings of everyday folk. I need the searing intensity and awe-inspiring passion only heroes can achieve. Do you know another hero you could bring here? A real, live hero? Someone you cooperate with? I must see not one hero, but two. I want to see two heroes. What would one hero's passion even look like? Ah! Hello? Our hero returns, bringing good tidings <laughs> and supper. <laughs> Damn thing doesn't open. How do you um? Oh well, I never thought you'd actually get it. Tell you the truth, Boulder. We've been blessed, my friends. We have made an alliance that has already brought us life. One day. It will bring us much more. We require but one more offering before we fight at your side. Ah, Boulder. 
promise to restore these mountains to their full glory and to protect our right to dwell in them, and promise you will bring nothing but the fiercest justice upon Logan's head. I promise. Then may we be carried into the castle by the dark storms of fury. You'll have to wait a little longer for that. It's still just us against a whole army. We need to recruit more people. Mm, I was afraid you'd come over all logical and sensible. Well, you have brought us a feast, and we are free to hunt again. We'll just keep on eating and drinking till you're good and ready. Right, Border? Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't be happier. You have made an important ally today. The revolution cannot hope to succeed without fighters such as Sabine and his people on your side. You have the beginnings of an army now. I couldn't be prouder of what you've accomplished here, but there is still much for us to do, and I know just where to find our next allies. I'll meet you at the station in Mistpeak when you're ready. The revolution is just getting started. Are you planning on renting this out any more houses? This is the most generous thing ever, thanks. That's just Wow, hot. I love it. For that. Never been there, but it seems like an interesting place. Your clothes are good. You are for looking pretty great. Pretty great. The only person here. Hey. If that. I had a shirt like that, I'd wear it every day. Oh, think how that would be. Must be nice stink. to afford a house to rent out. Oh. I... A little something new has appeared in the sanctuary shop. Care to have a look? the new, I always say, though I prefer to keep the old handy as well. You never know when you might find a use for the old. I recommend this item. Any 
other business? It's amazing what you can find when you're digging up your back garden, isn't it? Giant bones, portals to other... Wonderful! How kind you are! Here it is! Ah! Hello? Got too much gear? Sell it to me. This is a good Let time to find a better stuff. deal than here in Everyone's my shop. Everyone's got gold to burn. Get drunk with our great fire waters. Wow, look at you. Aren't you always oh. looking at I contributed a whole basket of bread. Well, of course. How about you? Oh, thank you. From my cousin, is it? She's always sending me odd things she finds around the house. Although this one does look quite intriguing. I shall have a closer look when I have the time. My dear soul, you're an odd fish and no mistake. Possibly a trout or maybe even weirder, like a sea cucumber or something. Though technically they aren't fish. Anyway, you look like some kind of mutant fish thing. So there, yours sincerely, Arthur. If I can be of any help, let me know. Real sweet. Thanks for that, love. Please come back. You should spend your money here. Oh, that's a good pie. I sell the best items in all Brightwall. We will not become the soul that is our non binding. Smells delicious. Mmm, sublime. I love your technique. Smells delicious.
Mmm, sublime. Wonderful dough work. Smells delicious. These are good times to be a shopkeeper. Oh, do be careful. I sell what the best be items today? in all Brightwall. Kind of thing makes a fella smile. Always have more to spend on new stock when people buy a lot. I'm going to be living under a bridge soon. If you don't... Lovely. Have a look around. All right, thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. What would you like today? Excellent choice. No, we're not the cheapest, but that's because we carry the best. How can I help you then? You'll have to pay for that. It's okay. Someone will buy it. Well, of course we're expensive. The wealth of this town has gone through the roof. Oh, that's a good pie. Blame the thriving economy. I sell the best stuff in Brightwall. I might keep that one for myself. Kate, only time will tell. Don't be such a tight I love your technique. Have you done this before? You can roll with the best of them. You won't find anything better in all of Brightwall than the game stuff game? I'm selling ah, right here. You're trying to scare me. We should have just what you need. What are you looking for? We have some new things in stock you might like. I hope it brings you great happiness. Need some help there? What is it you need? Oh, you've bought a fine item.
There's plenty of us here. We're having a special on that today. That item's on sale. Arms for all your poor, potions need, I'm visit not sure me. What arms are, but I'll take anything. You're in luck. That's you on sale. sale. At the best price, too. Pleasure doing business, business is pretty good, you. but I'm sure can you can help to make it even better. It's a bargain at that price. You won't regret spending so much gold. There is a nice little sale on close by. You must be new here. Hello. Need any help today? I hope I can make a profit on that. Oh, you won't Your regret buying that. Food stuff. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it. That's a good buy. I love what you've done with yourself. It's just what would I've it be? Been going... Something to you fall in love with here. Thank you for your custom. These are good. To be a jack drunk with our great fire waters. We have the <laughs> finest product <laughs> in funny, Albion. All right. <laughs> You're funny, all right. Welcome to the sanctuary. I'm a wandering trader, trying to get to Brightwall Village. But the roots become infested with marauding renegades. They're bound to rob me and kill me. Or kill me and rob me. I'm actually not bothered about the order. You look pretty tough, though. Could you escort me there? I'll... You'll take me? Thank you. I'll make it worth the trouble. Really, I will. I've been a wandering trader all my life. My mother was too. Couldn't tell you who my father was. Nor could my mother, actually. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Let's go! It's almost certain that we'll get attacked by bandits. I don't know why the king doesn't do something about it. Renegades! Don't let them kill me! You better run, girl! Ha! Gotcha! Got it!
It's a living anyway. Buying stuff in one place, selling it in another. Ooh, that's amazing! How do you do it? Let's go. Can't you feel the call of the open road? Hooray! Hooray! Keep your eyes peeled for renegades and bandits. There's always more than you bargain for. Renegades! Oh, Help! Come on, boys! Okay. Let's get... Back, juicy I read a book the other day by some bloke called Dan Smoria. <laughs> what rubbish it was. Stop them before they kill us both! Let's do it, lads! Dodge, mate! Don't just stand there and... Eventually, I hope to open a more permanent shop. Billy's Bazaar of the Bazaar. I thought I'd call it. Just need to get some weird goods and that to justify the name. I love the life of a wandering trader. There's just so much, well, wandering. Bit of trading as well. We've made it. Thank you. Here's a little something for you. Oh, and come back later if you like, when I've got my stall set up. I'll give you a good price. 